fight for viability and fight for the country that you carry in your heart. On the eve of the Iowa caucuses, all eyes are on Martin O'Malley. There is uh, no place on the planet that plays a greater role in determining the uh, trajectory of this race than here in Iowa. He's still running a distant third, but in the quirky rules of the Iowa caucuses, he's a potential kingmaker. In places where he falls short of 15 percent, his voters will be asked to pick their second choice, which could tip the balance for Bernie Sanders or Hillary Clinton. Some of your supporters, Governor, are viewed as the most important commodity in Iowa right now. Um, because of their discerning judgment in candidates. <laughs> right. uh, so if they're not viable in some precincts across this state, do you urge them to uh, follow their own instincts or should they go one way or the other? I urge them to hold strong and fight for viability. That's what I encourage people to do. In Iowa, the second choice can be nearly as important as the first. It helped propel Barack Obama to victory here eight years ago. Uh, if I'm not your first choice, make me your second choice. The rules are different for Republicans. Their voters don't have to pick a second choice on Monday night. But the Democratic race is deadlocked. Tom Henderson, the Democratic chairman in Iowa's largest county, is an O'Malley supporter. He said one of the biggest mysteries about the Sanders-Clinton fight is where O'Malley supporters will go. For most O'Malley supporters, is their second choice Sanders or Clinton? Uh, we don't know. That's always the big question. But today in Iowa, O'Malley urged voters to deliver a surprise. I know you, you feel like you have a birthright on caucus night of upsetting the apple cart and surprising the pollsters and surprising the pundits. And that's what I need you to do now. There you go. O'Malley's campaign is running out of money and time, but for at least another day, he's the center of attention. How well do you have to do here, Governor? I don't know. I have to beat expectations, and fortunately, the national press has kept those very low for me, so I, I don't know. Do you feel like a kingmaker at this point? No, I don't. I feel like a candidate for president of the United States and the only one that has a track record of being able to bring people together and get things done. Uh, that's, those are two things that neither of my opponents can say.